Hi everybody, if you are new here, my name is Jessica, my son has special needs and I'm here to talk to you guys about it. I have an Instagram called Raising Someone Special because I believe in building in a community so this special needs world is not so lonely. If you are here from past videos, I gave an overview video, I've talked about various other diagnoses from my son and today's video is about Tourette's. My son is four and he has Tourette's. He also has a laundry list of other things. You can go check out the other videos to see what else he has. I can also tell you, he has autism, Tourette's, and cerebral palsy. Wow. Anyways, get settled in and let's talk about Tourette's. The hard part about my son's Tourette's diagnosis is that he also has autism, which came with stimming as a baby. If you don't know, I have Buzz here as a comfort item because even though I am in my son's room alone and he is downstairs playing and being a normal, amazing kid, I am nervous to get on here and look into this cannon and spill my guts out. So I have a comfort item, just like children, that help me. Okay, Tourette's. Tourette's was a tough one because first in the world of Alex came what we thought was autism stims, which still, there's a very fine line between what is an autism stim and what is Tourette's. So he had autism stims of, you know, doing these things and rocking, those were a part of the autism video that I spoke about earlier, but then recently, within about a year, he's starting to get these ticks. One very common one is he lifts his shoulder to his ear or he takes his chin and he goes completely across. Um, he's got a bunch of other little ticks too. I will include videos so you can see. I don't know why I pointed down. I don't know. Just, just pop into the video. Um, so you can see some examples. Um, 12. 12? Mm -hmm. I love you. Mama? Yeah. I like your bandage. Oh, on my knee. Thank you. Can I, can I hold the temperature? Uh, you mean, no, you know, you don't, we're not going to take the thermometer out. Friends bringing kids at the What, buddy? Do you ever see Zenny everywhere? Welcome back. Those are some examples. Now, with our ticks journey, we started off seeing neurology about a year ago with ticks, and they diagnosed him with generalized tick disorder. Apparently, according to the neurologist, there are three parts to ticks, or three different types. There is generalized ticks, which isn't that bad. 
There are partial tics, which is usually one muscle group, and then there's complex tics, which involve multiple muscles in those tics, and they are constant. They are not determined by an emotion. It does not matter if you are scared, nervous, those are the same thing, excited, sleepy. Alex just tics all the time. So a year ago, he only had the bottom diagnosis of tic disorder, and then jump forward to a couple weeks ago, we got upgraded, yay, to complex tics, also known as Tourette's. He ticks all the time. Like I said, it doesn't matter who, what, where, when, why. He can be in a room by himself. He's going to be ticking. Uh, you saw clips of what his ticks look like, and it's just kind of whenever. And he does it all the time, and he cannot stop. It doesn't matter if you tell him to stop, which why would you do that? But we've had teachers and therapists say, oh, calm bodies, and I'm like, oh, wasting your time. So that's that. He has Tourette's. Now, at the neurology diagnosis appointment, for Tourette's, same doctor a year ago and today, for the upgrade to Tourette's, they gave us, I should look up the medication, I will include a picture of it, I believe it's colonidine. It is a patch, it is a waterproof patch, and then there's a waterproof sealant over it that goes in four different places on his back. There's only one patch, but every week you move it to a new location. Insurance only covers four patches, and then after that you're on your own. So a four, four year old with autism and sensory needs, we have not started it yet because we have some other tests we need to run, but I can't imagine that for one week he's going to leave a patch on his skin for, forever, but for that week. If he, if it comes off in the pool, in PE, in whatever, uh, the bath, or just him pulling it off, we have to pay outside, out, out of pocket for the rest of those uh, patches, and they are very expensive. And it is like an SSRI where you have to continue to do it. You, if he pulls it off on a Monday and new patch days are Sunday, I can't wait the six days to put a patch on. You gotta put another patch on when he takes it off and um, hope for the best. And if you use up those four, you gotta do out of pocket for the rest of them, which sucks. So that's the medication for it. Haven't started it yet. We need to do some blood work, but I he wrote the prescription and I filled it. So let's see. I'll let you guys know. I will keep you updated on how the medication goes. I am on the fence about medication, although, you know, I'm not here to question doctors, but just so you get an inkling, I'm like, ah. so. Let me know, please let me know down below if your kids have been on this medication, if you have been on this medication, if you have Tourette's. Like I said, I have a, we have an Instagram, my best friend and I, her daughter has autism, called Raising Someone Special. I invite you to come on over to that platform as well and be friends. If you're not subscribed here already, go ahead and subscribe if you like me, hopefully. And um, let's just show that this special needs parenting world does not need to be uh, completely isolating and lonely, that we can all band up together no matter what the special need is, anything from a speech delay to proficient special needs, it doesn't matter. We should all be here for our, for each other. Also, if you have a neurotypical children, child, welcome. I've been told before that they appreciate these videos that I've done on different platforms to kind of explain the world of special needs and parenting, um, making friends with special needs parents, teaching your children inclusion. And so whatever walk of life you are on right now, may you have special needs, a child with special needs, or neurotypical children, or you're neurotypical, just let's all chill and let's all be friends because this world is crazy, it is crumbling, and we need each other. So hi and welcome and um, if you have any more questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you later. Hi! I don't have my I don't have my buzz. I have to go get buzz. I put them away. I thought I'd clean up. Then I wanted to film. Hold on.